What's going on guys, Tech Savvy Buyer here. So today what I'm gonna show you guys how to do is basically game on any computer that you have lying around as long as it works, basically. Doesn't even need to have a GPU that's dedicated at all. Even if you have one, that's gonna work perfectly fine. So if you have an APU in this computer or you're using an Intel-based system and you don't really need integrated graphics, or sorry, you have integrated graphics, so you can use the HDMI port, that'll work as well for this thing that I'm gonna show you guys. Now, basically, it, as you might have guessed, it has to do with cloud gaming and cloud streaming, but there's a ton of different services out there. And I've covered one in the past and it's actually been a little bit revamped and it's gotten a lot better. So I wanna show you guys today about Shadow. And this thing is by far, hands down to me, the best cloud gaming service that you can possibly get. It's affordable, it's accessible on a multitude of devices, meaning you can use this on an iPhone, you can use this on any kind of Android device that you have, whether it's a tablet, a phone, whatever. Even an Android TV, so if you have a smart OS TV that has Android in it, you can even use it on there as well. You can use it on a Shield. The only thing I think that they do not have accessibility for yet is on a Linux-based machine, and they're working on getting that to work. So even Windows, Mac, whatever you got. So. Before I ramble on too much on this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the system I'm using. Um, everyone has probably seen my test bench by now. I've shown it a hundred times, but if you didn't, I'm gonna show it again. I have an RX 590 build in this, and the only reason I'm gonna have a graphic card on this test is because I don't have integrated graphics with the processor I'm using. It's actually a Ryzen 9 3900X. Because there's a lack of integrated graphics, I can't use the onboard HDMI port on this motherboard, so I have to stick with a dedicated GPU. Now, everyone already knows that an RX 590 is not capable of pushing 4k 60 frames per second with medium to high settings this is going to be possible only tapping into a cloud-based computer that you basically pay for on a month-to-month -month basis with the service called shadow so I'll show you footage first if you guys like this stuff and you think this is cool then you can stick around and I'll walk you through how you get set up and all the different things that come with it if you don't that's perfectly fine understandable I know cloud gaming isn't for everyone and I will say this up front the latency in this is almost undetectable at this point. I'll show you some settings that you use so that you don't feel any lag whatsoever. And it's pretty cool that you can access this anywhere. So if you have a Steam library of games and you want to play them when you're not at home and you don't have a powerful computer that's enough to stream it somewhere, you can access this pretty much anywhere in the world that you are. This is a cloud-based gaming service. Now, in addition to that, this is also a good way for you to test out if you ever want to have a gaming PC. So if you are a console gamer or you have never really done PC gaming, but you don't want to go all out and drop a couple thousand dollars on making a build that can play 4k 60 you know you want to get away from your xbox one x or your ps4 pro or whatever and you want to really dabble in pc gaming this is an excellent way to test the waters without spending an arm and a leg to see if this is what you really want to enjoy if you really like i think it's perfect just for that if someone is really trying to make a switch from another kind of platform over to pc gaming and for obviously any of you pc gamers if you guys don't feel like upgrading your 1050 ti's or 1060s or whatever gpu it is that you might be carrying be it AMD based or Nvidia based, it doesn't really matter at this point, you can use this to test out what kind of performance you would get using 4K60. So let's jump into some of the actual footage of how the games look. I'm gonna actually use this camera to show you. I'm not gonna do on-screen recording only because I want you guys to see how I'm doing this. So let's take a look at all that stuff coming up. So this is the test bench that I'm going to be using, as you guys have seen, and here's the monitor. So as you can see, I'm already logged into my own version of Windows, and I'm going to show you guys how exactly Shadow looks when you start it up, so that you can tell it's actually different. This isn't a gimmick, this is nothing like that, this is actually legit, and I want you guys to see. So I'm going to bring the camera closer here. So we're going to open up the Shadow app that's over here, it's going to go ahead and launch, and once this thing connects, it's automatically going to tell you when it's ready to connect. So there's a little bar over here. I'll try and zoom into that so you guys can see. Boom. Okay, Shadow is ready. We're gonna go ahead and log in. Sorry for the autofocus. Come on, Panasonic, you guys can do better at this. All right, so you can see I'm gonna zoom out. You can see there's another login right on top of my original screen. And to show you that it's separate, I'm gonna do a quick lock here. And you can see now this is my original login on my screen. So I logged into my desktop and now I'm going to log into Shadow as well. This is accessing an actual cloud computer that's somewhere far, far away. Or actually it's a nearby data center. So let's go ahead and do this. 
So here is my Shadow desktop. Okay, I've got a couple of games installed here, but I'm going to pull up two. The testing I'm going to do today for you guys is Resident Evil 2 and Devil May Cry 5. Um, I'll show you real quick what my display settings are like on this. There you go. You can see that's the resolution on this display right now. All right, back into the shadow window. Let's open up Resident Evil 2 first. All right, it's going to be a little bit difficult for you guys to see here, but there is an FPS counter all the way up there in the corner. You guys can see up there, it's like floating in the 130s and stuff. All right, so I've booted up Resident Evil 2. I'm going to go ahead and start the game. I'm going to show you guys what my settings are like. The other thing you want to make sure when you play with this is you want to make sure that you have the mouse locked, which means that the mouse is going to stay within the menu of shadow and it's not going to let you go out of it. This makes for a smoother experience altogether. So we'll go to story. I'm going to load up one of my saves here. So here we are. This is all in 4K, guys. And the frame rates I'm getting right now are on the 70s range. I'm going to show you that it's actually in 4K so you guys believe me. Let's go to graphics. There you go. See that? I'll zoom in there for you. 3840 by 2160 and pretty much decent like medium settings or so. Or nothing is super super high. They are a little bit high. I know I could take them further and push it further But if you want to get 60 FPS, you're gonna to have to be a little bit more cheap <laughs> with the settings uh, I had a brain fart there. Okay. Anyways, so let's play some of this and show you guys what we got here So consistently hitting 70 FPS right now Okay this is all on a computer that has an RX 590 that's not even being used. Okay, look, here we got Mr. X here. Oh, and he's beating the crap out of me. No. Oh. Boom. 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 Look at his shiny head. Okay. There we get moving. Okay, so that's one game you guys can see very clearly that this is running at 4K 60 FPS. Now we're gonna hop into Devil May Cry 5. Okay, now we are in Devil May Cry 5. I'm gonna run by the PC option settings real quick to show you guys what settings I have on here. And you can see again, we're at 4K resolution, 3840 by 2160. Refresh rate is 60. We've got display mode on full screen. And most of the graphics settings we have are on medium. And the only reason is because the GPU that they're using is an NVIDIA Quadro P5000. So I don't want to push this too much, but this is a beast for 1080p. So if you don't even have a 4K screen, or let's say you even have a 1440p screen, that's going to be plenty of it. More than enough for it. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I know you really can't see the FPS on the top left. I'll zoom into it, but take my word for it. I'm not going to BS you guys. Okay, so we are floating in the 70s again, and now we're dipping into the 60 FPS range. Again, each game varies, obviously, with the amount of stress it puts on the GPU, but let's go through one of these scenes here real quick so you can see with live action, kind of how much stress it puts and what you really float around. All right, so we drop down in the mid 50s, but for the most part, we're right around 60 fps back up to 60 again so this game hovers around 55 to 60 fps in some cases you get in the 70s as well so i would just say practically an average of 60 fps you won't really notice the 5 fps dip that you get every now and then all right so if you guys really want to see how i'm doing this you want to walk through the rest of the process then you can continue with the rest of the video if you guys don't then that's pretty much the end of this video. I will say that this is super cheap to do. This is not expensive and I even have a discount that you guys are gonna be able to use to save some cash. Plus there's a free trial in front too. Or actually not a free trial, but there is a trial up front that you can use. Anyways, let's jump into that. Okay, if you guys have managed to stick through till this part of the video, then that means you wanna see what this is all about. So this is Shadow, okay? Their website is shadow.tech. Once you click that, you'll be presented with this screen. And they pretty much advertise on their website that you can play up to 4K at 60 frames per second and even up to 144 frames per second if you're gonna do full HD. And like I explained to you guys before, you can play on any device that you want. So you can do it on a laptop, you can do it on a tablet, a cell phone, pretty much anything that has a screen and has either Windows, Android, or iOS will work perfectly fine. So this is the coverage map of where you pretty much have access. Anything that's shaded in orange is where Shadow is easily available. So I am in Ohio and you guys can see I'm pretty much covered here and this area is the stuff that's not covered. So they're still expanding and they're expanding pretty quick. When I first did a video on this late last year, they did not even have this area covered. So it was just a bit of the East Coast and a little bit of the West Coast. They've added quite a bit. So 
chances are you're probably in an area that's covered. If you're not, unfortunately, you won't be able to take advantage of this. So basically, all you have to do to do this is subscribe. And it's actually pretty simple. It's pretty affordable too. So they have two plans. You can do an annual plan, which means you make a commitment that you're gonna pay every single month, and it costs you 25 bucks a month, or you can take a month to month plan for $35. And before, this is the only thing they offered. This is a new thing they offered for people to actually stay on board. Now, for example, if you don't wanna spend $35 up front or you don't wanna spend $25 up front, you can take a trial for as little as 10 bucks, right? So it's 9.95 for 10 days. This is a great way if you guys wanna try the service to see if it's actually worth it for you or not. So totally up to you guys. Now, I have a special code. You can enter TSB for Tech Savvy Buyer. You hit apply and you'll actually save another $10 on your first full month. So for example, this doesn't kick in until you're at the month. So you have to finish the first 10 days, get to the actual month when you start getting billed 25. Instead, you'll get billed 15 bucks if you're on the annual plan, or you'll get billed $25 if you're on the month to month plan. Now it's only valid for the first month, so every month after that, you're gonna be back to the full pricing. But again, this is a good way to get you guys about 30 days of trial and seeing how you would actually like this. Now, once you've signed up, it takes about 30 minutes before they activate. It can take a longer time depending on how many people are accessing it. And you know, that is just varies all together. But let's suppose you have it ready. You can go ahead to their download section and this is where you're gonna download the software that works for your system. So if you have a mobile device, you can click on one of the apps for whatever system base you have. Um, keep in mind that you need to have an Android 7.0 or later device. If it's earlier than that, this is not gonna work for it. Um, and also for computers, you've got Windows, Mac, and they even support Ubuntu. So the one thing I would recommend when using Shadow is that try and get a wired connection. Now, if you're on a wireless device like a tablet or a phone, you can't do a wired connection. Make sure you use a five gigs internet connection because if you use a 2.4 gigs, it's just not fast enough and you're gonna have a horrible experience. You're gonna blame it on Shadow and that's really not fair. So once you download the app, you'll be presented with this little app here. It's called Shadow Beyond. Actually, we're gonna search Shadow real quick. We'll open it and this is what the launcher looks like. And boom, here we are again. So I'm logged in again and here is my shadow computer. Now for reference, I'm gonna run DX Diag so you guys can see that this is a different computer. Indeed, I'm logged into somewhere else. So looking at it, there's a Xeon processor at 3.2 gigs. It's an octa-core or eight core. And there's a Quadro or an Nvidia Quadro P5000 graphics card. So if I minimize this and now I run this on my own, my own PC. Well, by the way, my PC is more than capable of playing 4K, 60 FPS in some games, um, just depends. So I have on this PC a Ryzen 9 3900X and my display is a GTX 1080 Ti with 32 gigs of RAM. So they obviously don't give you that much RAM and I'm actually gonna show you real quick their tech specs. This way you guys have some kind of idea of how this works. Here are the tech specs that they have. So they pretty much give you an equivalent to a GTX 1080, which gets you up to 60 hertz. Again, this is not gonna be the cream of the crop GPU that you have, but it's gonna be more than enough to get you a taste of what 4K at 60 looks like. You get 12 gigs of RAM dedicated, um, 256 GB of dedicated storage, and one gigabytes of download speed. And guys, the download speed is insane. Take a look at this clip to see how quickly I was able to download Resident Evil 2 and Devil May Cry 5 on this machine. So that was super fast. I was getting up to 80 megabits of download per second, which is crazy. It's not what I have at home and definitely not something that's even offered in my area, unfortunately. But that is pretty much the gist of it, guys. Let's meet back. So as you guys saw, that is pretty much how it works. It's not super complicated. It's really affordable. It's accessible on a whole bunch of devices. I actually have a more detailed review of Shadow on my channel. I'll link it up here so you can watch that full video if you guys have any more questions or you're looking to see how Shadow works on different devices. Since the time of that video versus today, it's been a good six or seven months and I can tell you the service has gotten mounds and mounds better, meaning there's much less latency. There's almost no input lag. And it's overall a really good system. I can't help but have to recommend this to people who really wanna test out what 4K gaming is like on PCs. I even try this myself, because my computer, albeit it is great, I just don't have the accessibility of it to access on a cloud anywhere and everywhere I am. So when you're traveling and you don't wanna take an entire system with you, just think of how it would feel to have basically a 4K 60 FPS console slash gaming PC right in your phone, right in your pocket, anywhere you go. You can literally just hook up a Bluetooth controller to your device and play any game that you want. 
it's not limited. The only one con that I have with Shadow in this case is the limited storage that they give you. They only give you 256 gigabytes, and if you do any PC gaming, you'd know that it really fills up quickly. You can probably fit about five or six games on it, and that's about it, depending on what kind of game that you're using. So storage is my biggest concern. They used to have an option to upgrade and add more storage. It looks like they've removed that now, but nonetheless, it's still really good. That's Aside from that con, there's really nothing else that I can think of that would hinder you from wanting to try this. And for the price, 10 bucks for 10 days, guys, you gotta try this. This is amazing. But let me know if this video was helpful for you. If you guys liked it, go ahead and smash that like button. And of course, if you're new to this channel, do consider subscribing. Make sure you turn the notification bell on so you're always aware when I'm putting out new content. And if you guys have any questions about Shadow, reach out to me directly. Don't forget to use my code TSP. You'll save 10 bucks off of your first month. So if you wanna extend that 10 day trial to another 30 days, why not save another 10 bucks when you do it? Let me know what you guys think of this. If you have any questions, again, ask me in the comment section below. And until then, guys, I'll see you on my next video. It was a pleasure. See ya.